Hi everyone, Eileen here. It's Saturday, so I have another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial for you, from me to you. And I'm featuring one of the brand new stencils that you'll find on the Lavinia Stamps website, and it's called Charming. Some of these stencils have, uh, there's six of them in total, have frames on and others do not. And they're all so useful going to be for the gel press work. Right, I'm also featuring the gorgeous Mooch stamp. He's such a handsome chap. More of that in a moment. More stamps to tell you about as we go along. So let's get going. I have a piece of Lavinia Stamps Multifarious Cardstock in cream. And I'm going to place the stencil. Take your stencil. You'll notice it's stained. That's because I'm using pigment inks. Don't worry too much about that. I give them a wipe over. But pigment inks don't usually um, uh, really hurt the performance of your stencil. They won't reactivate. Whereas dye-based inks would reactivate. So I clean those off just with soap and water. But pigment inks, I'll just let it go really. Versifying Claire Summertime and Versifying Claire Twilight along with the beautiful Charming Stencil. Not going to bother taping it down, but I am going to make sure I hold it tightly. Starting off with Summertime and Orange Brush. Square that up. Concentrating on the middle of the cardstock very lightly, going up diagonally towards the right, but not right to the top, and then down again diagonally towards the left, but not right to the bottom, and then over again, circular motion all the way. Leave your stencil in place. Go on to twilight. This is a very strong colour, so I'm going to make sure I don't put too much on and lightly with the wrist now, blending it into the orange, coming down, bit heavier at the bottom to give it its own identity, but then lighter as I go up to blend with the orange again. And that should be okay. Yep, that doesn't look too bad at all. Okay. With the original card, I did get a heart shape. This is a square shape. It doesn't really matter. I did like the heart shape, and I would like to say that it was, it was my stenciling skills. It wasn't. It was an accident. <laughs> I just wish I had more of them like that. <laughs> oh, no matter. Let's go. Starting now with the stamping, and I'm using Versafine Claire Nocturne. This is a new pad, or newish. Gentle tapping with the beautiful Mooch. Gorgeous creature. Taking off any surplus ink, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. And also, and I'm sorry Trace, but I'm removing the ink from Mooch's whiskers that are right at the top, coming out on the top of his face. I just don't like them, so I'm removing them. I'll get into trouble, but she'll forgive me, I'm sure. Now, popping Mooch down and letting the ink soak in. Pressing and up. Beautiful. Bit of ink missing from the bottom. Just get a polychromous pencil here and just filling in the areas that I've missed. To make him more opaque. That's good. Okay, he's fine now. Now, Taking Versafine Warm Breeze, another pigment ink, of course. And the next stamp I'm using 
is a collection of words in different fonts, all with a magical theme, and this is called Fairy Spells. And there's Sparkle, Enchanted, Dream, Spirit, Mystical. It's absolutely lovely and ideal for this card. So Warm Breeze. Taking off the first layer, though. First layer of ink, but very lightly. Not pressing too heavily, down and up. And then I'm going to pop warm it down, the uh, words down on the bottom of the card. But I want them to go behind Mooch. So I'm pressing quite heavily just to take advantage of all the ink that's left on the stamp. Because I want to see the words, and they've come out quite well. In fact, very well. But it looks, it appears as if they're going behind the gorgeous mooch. Next stamp is called, uh, what's it called? Star Cluster. Now, this is an underrated stamp. I'm going to keep this on my desk because I don't use it anywhere near as often as I should. And it is so pretty and useful, versatile, as a background stamp, as well as a main feature. So in this instance, it's sort of a bit of both. It goes behind Mooch, but it is an eye-catching feature. Oh, sorry, it didn't tell you what ink I'm using. Get carried away, you see, because I'm having fun. <laughs> First, find Claire Glamorous. And using a, a dry cloth, just to remove the surplus ink around the outside, of which I have got some here. Yeah, I have. With Star Cluster, you've got a whole cluster of stars as I'm looking at it. I've put that, those clusters over on the right-hand side and then you've got a bit of a gap on the left and that's where I'm looking for the position of the stamp. So surrounding Mooch with the main star cluster over on the right, pop it down, pressing, this is first generation, quite heavily and up and there it is beautiful okay now the final thing to do to this card is just to add a bit of embellishment with some accents and I did have a pin somewhere I think one of the fairies has been hopping over I oh, found it just make sure it's unblocked and it's flowing well. Oh, yeah, very well. <laughs> right, just going to add a few. I don't want them to be too big. They are getting on the big side, so take some more off. And it's down and up. Just kiss your cardstock and lift immediately. Just do a few here and there, mainly in clusters of three, but you can do five if you want, or just one. Three, let's do five on this one, but they are quite small. And then we'll have another three there. I think, oh, and then maybe another three here. Easy to overdo this, so I don't want to do that. So that will do, yeah. Okie dokie. Right, just having a quick look. Yeah, they're both done. They both look about the same. In fact, the shape of this one I do like better, but you're going to get a different shape each time, really. So then I've taken a card blank in white, actually, to save my cream card. Um, 13 centimetres by 13 centimetres. And I will just use a wet glue to stick that topper on that. 
and what and we're done until tomorrow i am not sure what i will be doing or showing you tomorrow now, i've just got red ink all over both cards from my thumb very useful let's get it off of here first i'm using my sand eraser to remove that you have to be quick with pigment ink it's not so easy to remove as dye based ink is and i've got a little bit of it there this will tell me to watch what i do with my fingers when i'm picking up the card and i'm looking for my brush And I've still got a bit here. Has to be perfect. Really has to be perfect. Sort of. I'm still getting this one covered in ink. I think I'm going to give up with this. I never give up, actually. There we go. That will do. Right. I think I'm there. I've loved doing this. I love Mooch. I think he's gorgeous. And I adore the new stencils. And I'll be using another new stencil tomorrow. Thank you for watching today. Have a nice Saturday. Stay safe, everybody. Bye for now.